Hey guys, Joe here today, and we're looking at the Cot Ray CO607 two way radios. Um, so we have the yellow ones, um, I believe they come in green as well as some other colors. Um, these are two way radios, like I said, and their range is fairly good. Um, if you're on a mountaintop talking to between two different people, you get about 32 miles at sea, about 14. In the woods, about five, and then if you're in town because of the interference and buildings and all that fun stuff, you get about maybe three miles, which is still pretty good um, if you're kind of trying to communicate. So looking at what you get in the, the box itself, you get two of the radios, you get a charging base. So this is where you can charge the radios, as I said, that are rechargeable. Um, you also get a micro USB cable, which can be plugged into the radios itself or into the base to charge it. And then you do get six uh, AA rechargeable batteries. I only have three here now because I did put three in one of the radios just so I can test it out and see how it worked. Um, and then you do have two belt clips as well. So these bell clips can be attached on the back of the radio and then you can attach it to your pant loop or to a bag or whatever you're really carrying just to make it easier so you don't have to hold it in your hand or throw it in a pocket because you already have stuff in there. Okay. Okay, so putting the batteries in is very, uh, fairly simple. So on the back of the each radio, you do have this lock and unlock icon. So to put batteries in the compartment, you want to make sure you press this little lever over into the unlock and that should pop up the battery component. And this is where you can put your three AA rechargeable batteries in here. Okay, so once you do have the batteries in, um, you can go ahead and lock that compartment up so it doesn't fly open or fall when you're trying to use it. And then we can go ahead and hit the call button and hold that down. That's also turn the radio on Press that for a few seconds and you should hear the bloop of the radio itself. Um, this does have a flashlight LED lamp and there's also a earphone jack at the top. So you can put headphones in this and listen to the radio itself. Um, we, we have about 2,600 channels on this radio. There is also a hands-free communication so you can kind of use that to use with the radio itself, um, there's a menu button so you can kind of switch through, switch through to different channels and you can scan it. Um, it's fairly simple to use. Um, if you're ever, if you're familiar with the radio, you can go ahead and use this pretty easily. It's not anything different from any other radios that you may have used in the past. So talking about charging now. Okay, so each radio does have a component on the side where you can plug in the um, micro USB in. You can also plug it into the, the charging base. Um, so you would plug it in right down here and then you would attach each um, radio into here. Unfortunately, there's not any light or indicator on the base itself to kind of tell you when it's done charging or what's uh, stated in. So to do that, you want to make sure that the radio is on and then you just take a look at the radio itself and it'll show the charging um, battery life on there. So putting on the belt clips are fairly easy. So let's take out one of our radios here. Um, you want to make sure that the clip is pointing down, obviously. And then there is this um, clip or little knob here, latch. You just want to make sure you press that in while putting it in. Press that in, slide down, boom, already on. And if you need to change the batteries or anything, press that latch again, pull straight out. So we received this product about a few weeks ago. Um, I did bring out one just to test it out and kind of see how it worked. Um, it is a fairly decent radio. I, I would do, I would recommend it. I believe it was on the Prime Day not too long ago for a fairly decent price. Um, so if you're looking into maybe going out camping or hunting or 
doing something outdoors or where you don't have really good cell reception, even maybe throwing it into your car if you get into a certain situation, I would definitely recommend this. Um, the rechargeable batteries make it really easy and you can always just plug it into your, um, your car USB port or if you have a power bank, you can plug that USB right in and charge those up. Um, shouldn't take too long to charge them up, I don't think. Um, so yes, yeah, so I do recommend it and if you want to